Welcome everybody to the next installment of the risk management video series brought to you by the risk management subcommittee of the New Hampshire Realtors. I'm Matt Johnson, counsel to the New Hampshire Realtors. With me today is Pamela Young. She is a member of our risk management subcommittee. She's a longtime managing broker and a current broker with EXP Realty. Also with me today is Brenda Firth. She is a senior paralegal in the litigation department in my office. Uh, and is heavily involved in e-discovery and document collection exercises. The topic today will be text messages, why you need to keep them, and some tips on how to do so. Legally speaking, you need to keep your text messages for two reasons. First, the Real Estate Commission requires transaction documents to be held for three years. Second, increasingly, the single best piece of evidence in a case when there's a dispute over what happened in a transaction is the text message communications between either you and your client or you and the other agent. So it's essential. Pamela, as a managing broker, can you provide some context of what sort of challenges the proliferation of text messages has been on managing, managing and supervising agents? Certainly. Um, in the past, we've had documentation and writing. We've had files. We can pull out the file whenever there's an issue. <clears throat> Today, however, so much is done by email and by text messaging. The fact that people are using these as a form of communication, even sometimes getting offers and everything right down to the nitty-gritty, I have found that the text messaging has much more data, much more emotional involvement, much more personal things. And as a broker, or as a managing broker, not being able to access that, not having that at your fingertips is very difficult. Often and too many times, when something happens later on and you need to get that information, you find the agent has deleted or did not hold on to those messages. And that's, that's a concern that all managing brokers should have. Now, do you have any personal experience on, on why it's important to keep text messages about a transaction? Oh, yes. <laughs> I was involved in a case not too long ago that um, involved me and our company, and there was, fortunately, a lot of email and text messages that I did have that I was able to forward, so that did help tremendously. And do you believe having those text messages helped resolve the dispute favorably? Yes, Brenda, uh, as a litigation paralegal, you deal with text messages all the time. Are there uh, tips you can give the audience about how to retain text messages? Um, the best tip I can give you is to make sure you are saving them as you go along. Uh, because if you don't and you delete them, then that can be a problem. Um, a lot of people will just screenshot them, and uh, that's fine, but that doesn't have all the information that you need. So in a litigation case, you really want to make sure that you have all the metadata so that you know when the uh, text message was sent, what time it was sent, who it was sent to. Um, so they do have different uh, applications that you can download uh, that will give you all that information. Our office uses um, iExplorer, but there's a bunch of different ones. Um, of course, if they're ever deleted, you have to hire um, a forensic investigator, which is very costly, and they are able to get it, but then you have all kinds of issues if they have access to your phone that you don't want. So. You can also subpoena the information, but keep in mind that a lot of times the phone companies do not maintain that information forever, so you can't get it at a later, later date. Now, and, it, and the ways to be able to retrieve and store those text messages, does it depend on the type of phone you have? Yes. Um, if you have an Apple, Apple devices, that actually is the best and the easiest way. Only, though, if you have all Apple devices, meaning you have to have an Apple computer. Because you can actually plug in your device and then hit to print to PDF, and then you have a great long document of all your conversations. Um, uh, as far as the other phones, yeah, the only thing, uh, the applications are probably the best way to do that. Given your experience, do you have tips about how they should be saved? Meaning, should should you save the text messages for each individual transaction file as you go? Yeah, that's the best way to do it. If, you know, if you're a realtor, you definitely want to make sure you have one for each file, and then once the and it, I don't know if it's all electronic or if you have a paper file, because you should save them both ways. If there is a paper file, it should be in there. 
And it, you're, one of the things you do for, for our firm is review documents, collect documents. In your experience these days, how important are the text messages to litigation matters? It's as important as any other document that you have. They, it is evidence, and um, if you don't have that, you, you're, you've lost a lot. So just to recap, uh, this w video is about text messages, uh, a couple pointers. If you are an agent, you very much need to set up a method so that you save your text messages per transaction as you, as you go. That's the best and safest and most risk management friendly way to do it. Uh, second, there are options and applications out there to make it easier to do and make it easier and less cumbersome than screenshotting all your text messages. That, that really should be the last resort, but even that is better than not saving them or, or deleting them. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for listening in on this round of risk management videos. Stay tuned for more videos as we release them this fall.